You might have to loosen that red dot. I know. <laughs> We're about to eat. So After food. this, yes, you will. You may have heard. They're playing a football game in New Orleans. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's right. Well, with Super Bowl 47 a little more than 57 hours away, you better get your Super Bowl party menu locked in. Hey, we've got some help for you. Glenn Rolnick, owner and chef of Virgil's Real Barbecue in Times Square, is here to uh, show us how to make a super barbecue spread. So, and you were telling me, first we, we got to start with a coleslaw. Yeah, how let's are we gonna do, do this? it. We gotta... Well, here, I'll give you a little hint. At Virgil's, this is how we do our smoked pulled pork. That's it. Right? It's beautiful. That how is many a bar hours? This takes 12 to 14 hours to cook. Oh, and we cook yes. about 40 of these a day. Wow. All right? Whoa. So we cook these in this bark. This dark color is what you want to see. You want it to be nice and dark because that's where your flavor is. And we'll show you, if we get a chance, we'll show you how to make the dry rub, which we make at Virgil's. Mm -hmm. All right? So what we do, we smoke this for 12 to 14 hours. And then as it's, the meat breaks down, so it softens it up. So we're able to basically it. pull it Melts apart. Yeah. So mouth. this is where you get pulled pork from which is, which is great. Absolutely. Here's right. a good pork. If you guys want to try that. Okay. And then what we do is we have a bowl underneath. We can mix this up. We mix it with dry rub. So do you take this off or do you like no, just that go goes right inside. in? Oh, so you, you can do, take you it off for now. Yeah, if you want to yeah, get bowl. dirty, yeah. sure. Let's get the Here bowl out. All right, we'll okay. pull, so I'm going to pull pork. I'll help you do Just that. Out, out Everybody here. wants to get dirty? Let's sure. Let's do it. So you can have it as big as you want. Mm -hmm. We like to keep some pieces in there and break the rest down so you have a little bit okay. of chunk in this. Get in there, John. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. This is easy pork. once you get yeah. that. And again, this comes from the pulled pork hurt. butt. All right, which it's is the part of the booty? Yeah, it's but really? it's not the booty. It's is the that, it's about it. But is that where you get the moist meat? Is that's that like, exactly okay. what it is. It's yeah. basically a, the best marbleization is in this piece of meat. So that's why most people who do this pull pork will use the pork. So when you say marble butt in your business, <laughs> it's, it's a, a good, good thing. thing. It's definitely yes. a good thing. Okay, yep. more hands you have in here. Oh, yeah, and it's yeah. fun, right? right? This is a party. This is Everybody a Super Bowl party. Yes. All right, so after you do that, we put some of our Virgil's dry rub in here. Okay. All right, which is a little bit of uh, paprika, chili powder, uh, onion, and, and garlic, a little salt, a little sugar, a little parsley, and then, of course, we have to take some of our Virgil's barbecue sauce. Oh, and this sauce, barbecue sauce, I, I can take a bath in it. It is so delicious, and it's so good. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So then you add that kind to the rub, right? Yes, we do. It's cozy. Yeah. Okay, we mix that in. We've never okay. gotten our hands dirty like, like this, this on the couch. Oh, yeah. so good stuff. hungry. I have a rag when you're done. Okay. A lot of awesome. okay, so what we do is we mix this mind. up. <laughs> okay. Some people like to add a little salt and pepper. Don't have to. Personal taste. Mm -hmm. All right. At Virgil's, we just put in a nice dry rub, which gives it the great flavor that it has. Okay. All right? What's so the this? base of your sauce? The base of our barbecue sauce, this is a vinegar barbecue sauce, so it's okay. got ketchup and mustard and a lot of seasonings in there. Okay. So what we do is we take this, take this is our pulled pork, roll? we throw it on a roll. Mm -hmm. Man, we're really yep. on a roll now. How much pork are we, we put a lot. on one roll? On one roll? Well, this is about seven ounces. So go. that's a nice portion. And then what we do uh -huh. at Virgil's is we put some mustard coleslaw on. Because that's, give you oh, like, that's the little that's kicker. That's, oh, that's your secrets. kicker right there. And that is our pulled pork sandwich. Is there, is there a lot of mayo in, in that? Oh, yeah. Not a lot. As you see, there's vinegar in here. I'll show you a quick. Yeah, because quick, yeah, we don't yeah, have yeah, much yeah, time. Yeah, yeah let's go. We'll do a little bit of mayonnaise. Try this. All right. Go ahead. Help me. Put a little bit of each. You don't have to put it all. Right here. A little bit of mustard. A little bit of mustard. A little bit of relish. Yeah, a little bit more mustard. Okay. Little pickled relish. Yeah. All right. Some of this. A little vinegar. Yep. A little mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Okay. And that's it. And that's how you mix this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just mix it up. Sometimes it needs a little more mayo. Sometimes a little you less. Taste Depends it as you go, what though. you like. Okay. Absolutely. All right. At Virgil's again, this is how it ends up. It ends up a little it looks bit. Delicious. And if you look like this, and not very many really amazing. Amazing. <laughs> That's the way we want really? you to look. <laughs> that's, that's success. That's why we give those big red towels. That is See lovely. That? Oh my gosh. Okay. If you want a quick hint on the um, chicken wings, I'll yes. give you a quick hint. Okay, sure. I also have Carmine's chicken wings over here too. We brought some great chicken scarpriella wings at Carmine's. Yes. Which is a sister restaurant to Virgil's. Absolutely. And you can have the wings there, but now we're gonna have the Virgil's. Oh yeah, we'll we're give you the a Virgil's quick, quick hint of right. the wings okay. over here, guys. If you have a here. second, All right. okay. Take a little bit of hot sauce. This is okay. Great. A little bit of our dry rub. All right. Okay, a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onion. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of butter. Which, if you want, you could use oh, oil. Is that just regular butter? Side? Yeah, that's regular butter. Cool. Okay, some people okay. like to use uh, oil. And that is the marinade. That's basically what we do for the marinade. We mix it up. Mm -hmm. We let it sit 24 hours, which is the key to let this sit it 24 hours. It all marries hours. together. It all, all marries together. Mm -hmm. You know what? I like to get my hands dirty hug. with this.
I love that right? you bake these, Glenn. You don't fry these. These, these, these are the wings. These we smoke at Virgil's, but at home, and we gave you the recipe, mm -hmm. you can bake these as well. But, nice. But the key to this is that you take mm -hmm. more of the dry rub and sprinkle some on ah, before it goes the in the oven. Uh -huh. Right? That's yeah. where you get that nice bark that we get on the pork. Can you so help that's us? That's the cris cris caramelization. Yes, right there. that is. That is. There's can a you? little bit of sugar in here, and it gives it that nice brown coat on there. Okay, we need to settle an argument because do you prefer wings or drumsticks? Because we say drumsticks. To eat than, myself personally? Yeah. Oh, wings for sure. Really? You like wings the wings? Sure. You're a wing guy. Of course. I'm oh, a wing man. guy. Yeah. I definitely am a wing guy. I love wings. So we would all be able to get along and order from one plate. <laughs> of course. It's all going on. Okay, yep. what else do you have for us So I've got to ask you a real quick question. You're talking about, like, uh, you know, marinate here for days, smoke for hours. You are obviously very busy on the big day. How much takeout do you have on? Oh, oh yeah. we have a huge amount of takeout. I mean, chicken wings. We can go through thousands of pounds of chicken really? wings. Really? Uh, yes, on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, normal days we're going through a thousand pounds. So on a Super Bowl Sunday at Virgil's, we're going through two thousand pounds. That's Easy. like next wow. level right Easy. there. So what right? else did you bring? So we brought for some us? barbecue yeah. nachos, which we served at Virgil's okay. here. Okay, we have to right? try those. Yeah, we'll make we sure these are okay those. for everybody to eat. These, on this these are made again with our barbecue sauce, and then we oh, take the smoked meats that are left over after. After we smoke them, we don't throw them out. Nothing or, goes know, to waste. We cut no. these up and we make a great sauce to put on your nachos. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Right? We also brought some riblets, which are our ribs. We cut up, we cook them in our natural barbecue sauce, and we get a nice tender rib there. How do you define so a rib? <laughs> a riblet is a, it can be as long as you Those want, but it's a shorter insane. rib. It's just basically a, a mini version of a rib. But these are cooked slow in sauce, so they tenderize more, so they're really good. All right, we have pulled pork sandwiches. Yep. Mm -hmm. Over at Virgil's, we have our cornbread. Oh, your we cornbread is unbelievable. Oh, we beautiful biscuits. Biscuits too, which yeah. everybody loves. So everybody can dig in. So when you're sitting down with dinner for your family at Virgil's, what are you ordering? What am I ordering? I definitely start with wings. I mean, that's my favorite thing at Virgil's. It's wings. A lot of people fry their wings. We don't fry our wings. Mm -hmm. We smoke the wings, and so much glaze, so much flavor in those wings that if you have them, you'll be addicted. You can taste the difference. Now, also, <clears throat> do you have a pick for the Super Bowl? Are you on either side? I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth. Well, being a Jets fan, it's pretty difficult yeah, to say. Kind of depressing. Right? But I'm thinking it's going to be San Francisco. Really? Right? Really? Yeah. I'm thinking that. Everyone is divided. Oh, yeah. That yeah. is so crazy. We haven't really yeah. thrown out our picks yet. There it goes. We haven't. We no. haven't taken those. So, so um, I'm going to. I'm going with the 49ers because my family's from the Bay Area. There you so go. On. Baltimore. I think Baltimore is going to win. I think the really? score is going to be 30. Oh, and I'm San Francisco, so we're even. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well, Glenn Ronick, thank you so much for visiting us on the couch and for feeding us. We are going to leave here with me. full bellies. Yes. Virgil's Real Barbecue is on 44th Street in Times Square. You can also visit Carmine's. And all the recipes are on our website, wlnytv.com slash the couch. They are easy to follow. The I food is delicious. The Order from these guys. Yeah. 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 Virgil's in the them. Bahamas, don't forget. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, well, that's right. Atlantis, which <laughs> is another great place. Let's go to the warm weather. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. And you Thanks can watch the Super Bowl me. on our sister station, CBS 2. This Sunday, February 3rd, kickoff, 6.30. Don't miss it. That's right. Well, you know what, guys? Super Bowl weekend. I'm going to go work out after the show. But now, <laughs> coming up next week, drama and glamour. Shaws of Sunset's Gigi oh takes a seat on the couch, and she's going to share some of her beauty secrets, and she's going to dish on some of those co-stars. Performing for the president is one thing, but now the PS22 chorus on Staten Island, well, they've got some real pressure. They're going to sing for us on the couch. Oh, they're yeah, so amazing. They're that. great guys. Okay, so Glenn brought us plates, guys. Oh, I sure knows. did. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Abbott yeah. showed up. Yeah. 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 You guys oh, have a great time. weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Be defeat. safe. We'll see you Monday morning at 7 a.m. Have a great weekend, everybody. Are you?